Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Today's video I have a really exciting announcement because the next four videos are all going to be drugstore related. So over the next week there's going to be a lot of drugstore stuff going on on my channel so I hope you guys enjoy it but this video is going to be my drugstore evening makeup tutorial. So I've amped it up, I've got a little bit of fake lashes going on, we've got super super glowy cheeks and a nice hydrated glossy lip as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to stay tuned till the end because there is hint hint a sneaky little giveaway in this video as well also don't forget to follow me on Instagram which is at Amelia Liana but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'm starting everything off using my L'Oreal eye primer this makes sure that the shadows last ages on my lids and that the color pigmentation is much more vibrant as well obviously my smoky eye trick I have to use my sticky notes these kind of act as a shadow shield and help me do my winged liner I'm going to be using the sleek storm eyeshadow palette today and I'm first going to go in with this gorgeous cranberry color I'm just going to pack that all over the lid making sure to stay below the crease you guys can see like how amazingly pigmented these eyeshadows are I just think this this color is so so beautiful it's like really really unique but it's not too out there it's still kind of like a neutral in my comfort zone sort of shadow and then I'm going in with this light brown on a fluffier brush this is going to be my transition shade and act as a blending kind of eyeshadow color so I'm just taking that along the line where my socket is just to make sure that there are no harsh edges or lines for drugstore eyeshadow brushes I love the real techniques ones but if there's one smoky eye eyeshadow brush I can't live without it's my Mac 217 so I'm breaking my drug drugstore rule for this eyeshadow brush because I just think it's so awesome. I'm literally completely addicted to it and I, I don't even think I can do a smoky eye without it. Next I'm going to take this dark brown shade and pack that on the outer kind of quarter of my lids, mainly focusing it quite close to that sticky note so it gives a kind of winged out effect. And then I'm going to take whatever's left over on that fluffy brush again and just blend that colour into the cranberry shade. I'm going to use this matte black along my lash line on this model zone brush. I'm just applying that along my lash line, mainly focusing it on the outer corner again. Then I'm going to go back in with that deep brown shade and apply it on the outer corner as well, really slowly starting to build up the colour and then blend everything in with the fluffy brush. I'm going to take this really pretty like gorgeous goldeny shimmer shade and just apply that on the inner corner of my eyes to brighten everything up. My favourite drugstore liquid liner is this L'Oreal Super Liner one. I'm just taking that along my lash line for some extra definition and then doing a little cat flick following where my sticky notes have been placed. The sticky notes honestly are life changing. They help me do a cat flick every single time and I just I couldn't live without them. They are so so good. I want my cat flick to be a bit more dramatic so I'm going to use the black eyeshadow again and just sweep it over the cat flick on the outer corner and this just kind of smokes everything up makes it look a bit more sultry as well and then after removing my sticky notes I normally just blend out any harsh edges then gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara I'm using the max factor false lash effect extensions mascara today. I'm not applying too much of this because I'm going to use some false lashes. These are my favorite false lashes I've been using recently. They're by Tanya Burr Cosmetics and these are the everyday flutter eyelashes. I'm normally pretty crap at applying eyelashes but because these are corner lashes it just makes everything so so easy to plonk on and they just add a really nice lift to the eye as well. They're super comfortable and you don't feel them like sitting on your eyelids either. Next for my brows I'm using my Anastasia Brow is Dupe. This is the Kiko eyebrow pencil so I'm just filling in my brows anywhere that I have some gaps and then to set all the hairs in place I'm using my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. Moving on to my skin because this is an evening tutorial I do want my foundation to last that extra bit longer so I am going to start with a primer. This is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. So I just take a dollop of that mainly focusing it like around my t-zone because that's where I tend to get the most shiny and it just leaves like a really smooth velvety canvas for foundation and it helps keep the shine away and at bay. Is it me or does anyone else get happy when they make themselves rhyme? Obviously, you guys guessed it, I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match foundation. I'm just buffing that in with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I love this foundation. It photographs really nicely. It looks really seamless on the skin and it has great lasting power as well. Next 
Next, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Rewind Eye Eraser. I'm not even sure if that's the real name. It has some like super, super long name, but I love this stuff, as you can tell, because I'm slathering it all over my under eye area. I don't really use this sparingly at all, but that's because it has such a light texture that you hardly notice it. It's like an extra layer on your skin. It's super, super lightweight, but just brightens up the whole of my under eye area and really gives me that like Kim K lift effect. I normally get quite shiny around my T-zone as I mentioned so I'm using my Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder and just dusting that down my nose along my Sula because I don't want anyone to see my Sula. Thumbs up this video if you also get Sulas. And then to bronze up my face I'm using a nice matte bronzer and this is from NYX. You can see I over applied it right there but it's super super blendable like it just blends so beautifully that even if you over apply it do not fear NYX matte bronzer rocks and is blendable. <laughs> For a highlighter, I'm using my Topshop Glow Pot. This stuff is so, so beautiful. You can see as soon as I apply it, it's like super, super subtle, but it just gives you that like, I don't even know, it just makes you look lit from within. Just is so, so natural and really golden and glowy. I just, oh, I love this stuff so much. Going back to my eyes right now, just gonna line my lower and upper water lines with this black eyeliner pencil. Just wanna make everything a bit more dramatic, really. And then I'm using this gray color from the Sleek palette all along my bottom lash line. And I just love how much the gray contrasts with the cranberry, but it still gives like a really smoked out effect. Gonna apply some mascara to my bottom lashes and then move on to the lips. I am in love with Essence Cosmetics. I think their products are so good. This lipstick is so, so gorgeous. It's right up my street. It's kind of like a dusty pink color, but it feels like really balmy on the lips as well. There are four products in the giveaway. The first one obviously had to be the Sleek Storm. Oh, I can't even open it. Urgh. Hold on, <laughs> here it is, the Sleek Storm Eyeshadow Palette. It's one of my favorites. I've been obsessed with this this month. So then we also have the Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara, the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer, and also the little Topshop Glow Pot. This giveaway is going to be on Twitter, so if you guys fancy winning these four products, all you have to do is number one, make sure you're following me on Twitter, number two, tweet a link to this video, and number three, use the hashtag Amelia Liana Drugstore Week. And in two weeks time, I'll go through the hashtags and pick a winner. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you on Wednesday with another drugstore themed video. Until then, bye. I say little because it is little. It's much smaller than the normal bags I carry that I fit like everything of my mom in there. I mean, I don't literally fit my mom in there. I just mean I can fit a lot of stuff in there. Great day and why not pretend like it's sunny and wear sunglasses when it's a super great day. Time to begin. I'm killing time by vlogging. I don't really want to do this right now, but seizing the day.